mission to get every single neon pet in Adopt Me. And today, I'm gonna be working on getting all 64 neon uncommon pets. So I checked my inventory, and it looks like I'm missing 30 of them. But I did happen to notice that I have an extra Mega Neon Dwayne that I'd love to give away to one of you. So if you'd like a chance to win this Mega Neon Rock, all you gotta do is leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment down your Roblox username. Okay, besties, just like last time, I have made a list. Here are the 30 uncommon pets that I am missing in Mega Neon form. Last time's method was pretty effective. I'm gonna ping the video's role in the Fishy and Cake Army Discord server and see if they can help me knock a ton of these off of my list. The only problem that I'm afraid of is I run out of so many extra of my legendary pets is what I usually offer to people to trade. So something I think I'm gonna do to help myself out is retain the backpack filter. Now this means whatever filter I set my backpack to, it's gonna hold on to that filter. I think for right now, I just wanna see all my neon and mega neon pets. I feel like if I notice I have an extra of something, I'd be willing to trade it. Okay, I already see our friend Conrad has joined the server. I wonder what he has. I see somebody here joined with a neon quokka. I have no idea what to offer them. I wonder if they would take a neon bat. I mean, it's older, but I feel like I have to add. I will also add a ghost bunny just because I feel like people like them. I have no idea why my offer is Halloween themed, but it looks like they're willing to do the trade. Shout out to the real Sarah Ellis. She's definitely been helping out in a few of these videos and we crossed something off of our list. And now this is our friend Conrad. I'm not sure what he has. Okay, but right beside him, I see he has a rattlesnake. Oh, and an eel and a gila monster. I don't know if he's gonna give us his rattlesnake. Is that even an uncommon pet? I wonder if he would take two other uncommon neons that I have extra of. I don't know if this is a good trade for him. Well, he hit accept, so I hope he likes it. Crossing two off the list at once is very, very helpful. I love when we get more than one at a time. I'm just nervous. I'm not gonna have pets to trade, but thank you, Conrad. Okay, we got somebody else. What are they gonna have for us? I'm not even sure what my list is. I do need to keep track. We do have an angler fish, a banded palm civet, Okay, let's see what I could offer. Do you think they take a neon monkey and a neon dolphin? I have these if you're still looking for them. They said thank you so much, so I feel like that's all right. You guys are the best helping me out with this. I just love neon pets. Let's hit confirm. Thank you so much for two more of the uncommons that we need. Oh, and now Colton is here. I wonder what Colton has. I see him right beside me. He said, hey, let's say hey, Colton. Oh, I think we already just acquired the eel. He has so many many of the pets on our list. Okay, I definitely gotta give Colton something good. This might be a huge overpay, but he's giving us so much stuff. He said, do you still need eel? I'm gonna say, no, I don't. We just got the eel. He told me to take out the lava dragon. No shot, I'm gonna leave the lava dragon in. This is just so many neon pets. Even if it's just uncommon, the therapy dog is a really, really good one. He has it out right there. It's so cool. I like that pet a lot. Oh, and he's even wearing the Brit shoulder pal. Oh my gosh, shout out Colton. What a supporter. Let's hit confirm. Thank Thank you so much. We just crossed five off the list. I haven't had a chance to look at the pets that we've gotten already. Okay, so this person has the neon eggnog dog, which it's right there. I know a lot of you guys hate it because it's just another pink neon pet, but I just like the eggnog dog, so we're gonna hit accept another one off the list. Oh, this person has the arctic hair. Now, that's one of the more recent pets. I wonder if they do it for a dingo. I'm just trying to match like neons for neons, especially now while I do have some extras. It's kind of hard to see what I have extra have, but I'm just showing people the extra ones that I have and kind of letting them choose. And the monkey seems to be a popular one. I do believe I have one more monkey, but I think it's like a luminous neon monkey or something. I don't know if I necessarily want to trade it. I usually never like to trade my pets that are like full grown or luminous. But let's go ahead and snag this neon arctic hair. And another trade coming in. I love the fishy army helping. I don't know how many we've gotten today, but I know it's been a ton. I think everything from this quokka up is stuff that we've gotten just today. Oh, the neon silly duck. Now that's a good one. Okay, I think this person is pumped about the lava dragon. I wish I had more of these. I have just been trading them like so sporadically and I'm running out of them and I know I'm gonna regret this once I get to like the rare neons, ultra rares and legendaries, but oh well, we got a neon silly duck. I think that Sarah has something else for us and she didn't realize. Yes, yeah, she has the neon red cardinal. Ooh, okay, finally somebody wants the snow leopard. I don't think you guys know this, but the snow leopard looks really 
really, really good in neon. It's so cute. So they're gonna snag the snow leopard and it has ride, which is good because their pet, I also just realized, has ride. So thank you again, Sarah, for this neon luminous rideable red cardinal. Shout out to you. Oh my gosh, Sarah keeps forgetting she has stuff. It's a donkey. I love the donkey. Okay, Sarah has something else for us. And this time she's gonna take the narwhal. I also thought that was a good one that I couldn't believe people weren't accepting. Now this is a rare neon, but I don't know. I think the donkey is really cute and really worth it. It's also kind of fun getting rid of my extra legendaries because I don't want so much bulk in my inventory. I just want the pets that I need. I have a plan to make my inventory very aesthetic. You guys are just gonna have to wait and see, but shout out Sarah again. And now I had to add a couple people who couldn't join the private server. So this person has, I think the, ooh, the harp seal. Okay, so this person likes the monkey and the snowman. And I don't think that I would do this for just anybody, but I'll let them have both. I can't do this for everybody because I gotta be able to save the pets that I need because I need to offer for more stuff. I'm really out of legendaries, you guys, I swear. So let's cross the harp seal off the list. Thank you so much. And now somebody else who I had to add as a friend. I'm not sure what they have. Let's go ahead and say hi to them. I, oh, I think they have the rhino beetle. I think that that's for us. It's getting really hard to keep adding these pets over and over again. I wish that there was a way to like have the set ads, but they said Glyptodon. Okay, the Glyptodon is one of my favorites. You guys keep missing out like on these good pets. Like I'm shocked that everybody was choosing the monkey when like the Glyptodon was an option because the Glyptodon is so, it literally looks like bubble gum. And this is straight up a bug. Like we're giving the cutest, most bubble gummiest thing for this bug. But I don't know, the rhino beetle, it actually looks kind of unique. It's like a teal, not so much blue or green. So thank you so much, Masked Angel. It looks like the Fishy Army videos roll might be tapped out, but we crossed so many off of our list. I think we got about 17 pets off of our list, which means we only need 13 more. Everybody wishes us luck. I think we're gonna head into a Cake Army trading server next. Okay, we popped into the Cake Army trading server. This person has a rock pigeon. The rock pigeon actually really is one of my favorite pets. I know I say this all the time, but it's just so cute and derpy. I love derpy pets. They said the bat. Oh, I love that somebody wants one of my bats. And it's, I don't think this is one of the ones you guys gave me because you guys always give me ones that have like my name in them or something. I don't trade those ones, but I think I made this one myself. Okay, let's go ahead and hit confirm. And there we go. We got the rock pigeon. And somebody says they have the neon cutacabra, another cutie patootie. All right, this person decided on the step lion. I think that that's a fire choice. I don't love trading my rare neons for uncommon neons, but sometimes these have higher value because, you know, preppy values and all that. So let's hit confirm and thank you for the cute cabra. All right, somebody with the tawny frog mouth. It's definitely getting harder to like keep adding these pets. I'm so sick of it, but I want people to see what I have to offer and give them the option to choose for themselves. Oh, somebody else who wants one of my bats. I love that for them. I think the Sasquatch is a really good option. I also think that the zebra is too, but nobody has claimed one of those yet. I'm really enjoying this challenge while it's not too hard yet. I mean, I am having a hard time finding some of these other pets like the camel and the ermine, but for now, we're still crossing stuff off the list. Oh, and I don't think somebody has something that we need, but they do want to do a trade history trade, so let me get out my trusty sandwich. If you have a username where you have like a thousand of the same letter, how do you guys tell your friends how to add you? Like, do you count how many letters that there are? I'm not sure, but there you go. Sarah has made a return. Does she have something else? for us. Sarah, oh my god, she is a G. She has all the pets today. Oh my gosh, I don't know why she feels bad. The links, please, I'm sorry. Oh no, it's okay. She thinks she can only take one turn. Wait, what did she say? The link. She does not have to feel bad at all. Oh, and the Lynx is also a really good pet. Somebody hasn't taken that yet. That's literally from 2020. Yeah, I think that's from the winter event in 2020 and nobody has claimed it yet. So Sarah's got a really good eye. Let's hit accept. Real ones remember when the camel was like ginormous and then Adopt Me shrunk it and made it normal size and now it's just a boring pet like any other. But thank you so much again, Sarah. Oh my gosh, somebody with the ermine. The ermine is definitely gonna be one that's a difficult to offer for because I know that it has major pressure value. Yeah, so I offered some higher tier ones. They're gonna choose the B. The neon versions look so cool. I also love the neon B, and of course, I just wasted my time adding all that stuff when they chose literally the first thing that I put in the trade. They said thank you, so I'm happy that we're both happy with the trade. I love the neon Bs, but I love the ermines. They are adorable. Thank you so much for this pet. I've actually counted, and I don't know what that is, but we're down to the single digits. I think we only need like eight more pets.
and it looks like Colton is back. He said that he read over a few and he's back. Oh, the Fossa and the Tanuki. I actually added some really good pets at the top, so I'm curious what Colton is gonna pick. He said the evil dog. That honestly would have been my choice too. I love the evil dachshund. It's the only pet I like from that year's Halloween event. That year's Halloween event, in my opinion, kind of sucked. I think it was like 2021 or 2022. I don't remember. But this was the only good pet from that year. I thought the Fossa was gonna be one that was really, really Really difficult for us to get but colton came in clutch and now we cross another two off of our list thank you so much colton Ooh, somebody with the neon hermit crab and it's luminous now if i were this person i would probably choose the sasquatch or the kieran maybe even the ghost wolf definitely the sasquatch would be my number one pick maybe even the scorpion because it looks really cool in neon but they're gonna go with i think that says neon koala please i don't know the chat's kind of broken okay the neon koala was also a good choice it's an ultra rare neon for just their uncommon neon. I don't know why I added that. I just had an extra and why not? People love the koalas. Very derpy, very cute. Can't argue it. I love that this is luminous. So shout out to this person, JC, I think. Thank you so much. It looks like a few people might just have the last few pets I need. Okay, this is the first person who I believe they said they have the Boreana Gigantica. Yes, this thing that I cannot pronounce. They said I'm eyeing the evil basilisk. I'll do it for that and obviously this is a huge overpay the evil basilisk is one of the coolest neons in adopt me they also said i can add if i'm under and i mean for sure they're under this is i don't even know if i should have added this at all but it's totally fine they've helped out before when i was trying to get the neon commons and a fellow evil basilisk lover is a friend of mine so thank you so much for this uncommon neon we needed okay it looks like the next person from the fishy army just teleported to me and they have this neon canadian goose let's go ahead and send them a trade request. I have no idea what to offer. They want to go for the ghost bunny, which is a fabulous choice. I love the ghost bunnies. Again, it's such a derpy, cute pet. Definitely something I would have chosen. And this pet is really old by now. I think, yeah, this is a 2020 pet. And this Canadian goose, I think, came out recently. I think we only have like one or two more pets to get. Thank you so much. Okay, I just added someone else. I'm waiting for them to join. They actually have a pretty good pet. And they just teleported to us. Because the capybara is so old, I've kind of put what I think are some really good pets. I mean, there's mostly just neon ultra rares in here. They definitely have to choose something. They're currently typing. I wonder which pet they're gonna pick. Oh, they said, what do you think would be fair? I don't think I've had somebody ask me that question yet. Usually somebody just picked. All right, it's down to this. They told me their favorite items were the neon albino bat and the neon frog. My personal favorite is the neon frog. They're saying, hmm, I feel like I haven't had somebody like make me nervous that they're not gonna accept? Is it because the capybara is so old? This person is really driving a hard bargain. They're gonna take one of my neon frogs, but they also want this platypus. But honestly, I just don't wanna miss an opportunity to get the neon capybara. So I'm gonna do it, even though this is one of the biggest overpays of my entire life. I'm gonna try not to cry about this one because, oh, I love the neon frogs. Thank goodness I have another one, but I'm really sad about this trade, honestly, you guys. I'm at the point where if they don't don't hit accept. I might not even be sad because I think somebody else just messaged me that they have one instead. And yeah, this person's not gonna do it. Okay, so in the meantime, while I wait for the other person with the neon capybara to answer, we have the second to last pet we need, which is the neon yellow lipped sea crate. Okay, so in the meantime, they would like the albino bat for their yellow lipped sea crate. And again, I know I'm overpaying and I'm probably gonna regret this in the future, but we're so close to finishing the challenge. I'm not gonna be stingy towards the end. And I just want to get it done with. I want to get every single neon uncommon in Adopt Me. And this is the way I got to do it. So I'm going to hit confirm. I hope they're happy with that trade. Thank you so much. So I just now realized I told this person I have some random legendaries instead of saying random neons for their neon capybara. So now I need to try to find some random legendaries they can choose from, even though I really don't have much. But I can't lose another capybara. This is the last pet we need to complete this video. So I'm going to have to offer something thing that I don't want to offer. Oh, and they just teleported to me and they have the neon capybara out. Oh, and they're wearing cake army merch. They have the football merch on. I never see anybody with the football merch. Okay, guys, this is what I have put forward.
forward to offer for the neon copybara. I really, really want it. So I'm not trading all of this stuff, but I told them that they could choose, you know, a couple things or maybe one of the neons I thought would be fair. Or I'd honestly let them pick like two or three legendaries. It just depends what they ask for. I see them typing. It makes me so nervous. We lost the last copybara. I can't do that again. They said, these are all pretty good. I do have a lot of these though, so I'm probably gonna have to pass. I'm sorry. <gasps> no, what? Okay, it was a long, hard bargain. This is what we landed on. This is so sad. It's actually my only vampire dragon. So now I'm gonna need to get another one and they wanted to add a neon bat for me. I'm gonna let them know that's very sweet and thank them for the neon bat. This was a very hard decision to get to. They really did say that they wanted to get at least a normal capybara because I think they've had this since the jungle egg came out. Like this is their capybara. I will take very good care of it. Thank you so much. We just got all the neon uncommon. And there you have it, you guys. Every single uncommon neon pet.